Hey guys, I'm Larissa Wall from Maximo TV, and tonight we're in Hollywood for a great event, which is brought on by DoSomething.org, which brings all of young Hollywood together to help make changes in their community. I love the idea of DoSomething.org. Yeah. I know you're on the board of it. Explain it to me a little bit, how you got involved. Oh, they called me out of the blue, and they said, will you take a look at this organization? Actually, CAA did, and I looked at it, and I was like, this is incredible. Um, the, and I, today I just was the first time I was kind of involved with kids, like interacting with the kids, and they were pitching me ideas of their organizations, and I was, so I was catching, you know, I was, and I was supposed to give them advice, and I, I thought I was going to be there to inspire these kids. These kids were inspiring me, because they're, you know, kids, when they set their mind to something, there's nothing that they can't do. They're fearless, really, you know, they have nothing to lose, and they're just, when I was. 12 or 13 I was watching cartoons I was I wasn't thinking about changing the world and and affecting you know how people think about certain things and it was really an incredible experience for me so I'm very proud to be part of it now my goal is just to grow the organization 2011 we want to get to 2 million kids you know so we're just just going to keep spreading the word a lot of teenagers if not you know all teenagers feel like they're in a waiting period they feel like they're waiting because they're not you know being babied anymore but they're not at a point where they can just get out and, and do things themselves and drive themselves their themselves to places or you know make their own schedules or whatever it might be they feel like they can't do so they feel like they're waiting they feel like they're in between and they are just killing time and i feel like right now is the most important part because i feel like you know your heart not only like i i found out that that a lot of kids our age are just kind of they're not jaded yet <laughs> like it sounds really bad but a lot of kids just they still have that pure heart that they just really want to change people and I think that if they start at a younger age doing things it'll carry through no matter what age you are it'll still help make you want to expel more of your energy on changing the world we're the future we we can make so many changes and it's happening too um, and, and I think the more educated teens are with the way the world is working and the way to make it better the the better because they're gonna be our, our adults and our leaders in you know a decade or two and and I think it's really important Important. I think that having some kind of cause or supporting some kind of cause is very important and I love this because it really gives that opportunity to youth to go online and figure out a way to do something um, because the youth is so important and they are the future, you know. I think young people, their voices are definitely being heard nowadays. I think times have changed and people are definitely listening to the adolescents so that's, uh, that's great to hear. It means a lot to me. and. Um, you know, the age and stuff, it, it doesn't matter. I think if you have a dream and you have the willpower to do something, your dreams will come true. Basically, that's what my dad taught me, so I'm kind of doing that, and things are working good. So I think, you know, charity work is always left to the celebrities, left to the adults, but kids are so creative, man, so why not get up and make these ideas happen and come into fruition? I feel like it's big and it's important because, you know, it's giving back to the kids and, 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 it's, and it's doing foundations and stuff like that. So I definitely like to, you know, I grew up without my mom and my dad, so when I do these type of stuff, I feel good. So I was in the city and really have much plan. I was like, you know, I'm going to stop by. So I think it's just such a great organization. and. Um, you know, anything that can get kids involved in their community and giving back, it's so easy and sometimes it can seem like such a big task to take on, but really, you know, there are small things you can do and, and this really teaches kids some things that they can do to give back. They're telling me about the Gene campaign they're doing with Aeropostal, Teens for Genes, which is a simple thing that makes a big difference, so I think it's really important. Young people are very impressionable and, uh, and, and the thing is, I don't think there's enough of us saying, you need to do this, and, it, and it's not that they don't want to and it, it's not that, you know, they have no interest in it, it's just that it's not in their path of, of vision, you know, it's, if you put something in front of someone and say you should do this they'll go oh my gosh totally that's such a great idea but it's just you know we throw video games in front of them and 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 not the stuff that actually matters it's great to get the young people excited about that and if you start that at a young age um, all the better you grow up on that right path and then you can inspire other people as well you can do something no matter how big you think it is um, how little it is you know it's it's any anything can, can make a difference and if there's something you're passionate about there's no reason you shouldn't just go out there and do it. People have this idea that unless you're actually going to Africa to help the, the hungry and unless you're actually in a soup kitchen you're not helping and you're not making a difference but every little bit counts and you really you got to understand that because we need your help now more than ever especially in the state of the economy people are sort of forgetting about charities and I would definitely say that every little bit counts even if you don't think so. 
a lot of people look up to other people for advice. Like Audrey Hepburn is one of my all-time favorite actresses, and when I heard she was involved with UNICEF, I really looked into it more, and I was like, wow, I really want to be involved with UNICEF. It's so amazing that what she did to help these kids around the world. I'm glad and Maggie Udy and all that stuff in a way to, yeah, it's exciting. <laughs> All right, a quick question about what you just did. Talk about your outfit for a minute and how you decided what to wear. You know, I wanted to be young and fun tonight. It's the Teen Choice weekend, and there's all kinds of youngins running around L.A. causing chaos, so I just wanted to get young and feel part of it. I feel like I'm getting sold. I have my two dogs now. I just adopted a new puppy, Marianne. So I'm, be I'm becoming a little maternal. I stay at home, and I cook for my dogs, and we watch movies. So time to put on the leather skirt, come out to L.A., be a little chaotic. All right, everybody, that's it for tonight, but we'll see you next time.